During the release of Archive 14, as Campbell mentioned, um, the developers have been continually enhancing the CAD image productivity add-ons. Uh, the result is a crop of uh, tools for ARCHICAD 15 based on these improvements. Um, a few tools have had additional major new features added, um, enabling you to unleash your ARCHICAD further. So the first thing we're going to have a look at is the CAD image doors and windows. First thing, when you open the window tool, you'll be presented with this new uh, choice, three choice options here. Uh, the first one is sketch a window. Uh, this mode was developed uh, on the feedback from customers that simply wanted to place windows quickly and easily during the concept design phase, um, but the windows still um, needed to be able to needed to be flexible enough to add uh, gridded mullions and what have you. So let's quickly um, place the window. I'll set it to the elevation here so we can see what's going on. Hit the sketch design. You've got this grid scenario here, so we can set the grid to what we want. <coughs> hit the reset grid button and you can see it changes the grid at the top there. So really quickly we can get this, the look and feel of a window we want. Very simple, one material um, for the whole window, so easy to set it. If you're doing your cardboard cutout um, model to start with, everything paint 01, it's really easy to set that and we can change it just as easily in the future. So click OK and we can place that just like a normal window. Gives a very simplistic representation in the um, plan, which is exactly what we want. The other thing about this mode, very easily to select it um, into its properties and changing it through the stages from a sketch window to a developed design window to a detailed design window and changing the panels to whatever we want. So we can change these two panels here, so just like we would use to, to um, awning windows or whatever. They change automatically to awnings. Uh, we've got the set to crazy Euro awnings, so they're up the wrong way. And you can change, see these have changed to the, Euro, to the awning panels. The next one in here was the uh, choose an existing window. Uh, this model is used if you've already added your preset windows to your project, you simply choose the preset style and then choose the size. These are our mega presets, or as I like to call them. Um, got two defaults in here, and then you've got sizes for those. So very quick and easy to place windows that you have taken the time to create. Choose the size, place that window very easily. The third method we've got here is the parametrically design a new window. This is the um, traditional do everything um, dialogue allows us to change everything about the way the window looks, the frame sizes and the, and the colours and everything like that. Still using the ability to have presets for each phase, so the mega presets save all the presets in one big hit. These ones allow you to save the little things. The frame, is it a timber frame, is it an aluminium frame? If it is an aluminium frame, what colour is the aluminium frame? So you can, you can go quite quickly, set all your windows to timber, client comes back, oh I can't afford timber, don't worry about changing all your windows, just go in and change the preset from timber to aluminium and you've saved them 50% on their windows. So really quick and easy to do that, presets are getting integrated more and more into the tools, so we'll see those um, more and more as we go along. <coughs> 